everyone. So you know when you go out to dinner and everyone's holding their silverware in this super chic way and you always wanted to know how to do it, but you never knew how? Well, today I'm gonna teach you. It's gonna be a good day, good day, great day with Mike and Mike. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be so usable that you're going to be doing this every single day after you watch this video. So the number one question I get asked as an etiquette instructor is how to hold your silverware in that really formal way. I can be at a dinner, whether it be for kind of a business meal or a social event, formal or informal, and I can look across the table and see who has been trained in formal etiquette just by the way they hold their silverware. That's it. Now, that person could have learned from a grandparent, a parent, they could have gone to a finishing school like mine, they could have read it in a book, doesn't matter where they learned it, but the fact that they're doing it shows that they are that one next level up of education when it comes to etiquette. Now, I want you all to be able to do this at home. I teach this trick to children all the way up to my celebrity clients, um, CEOs of some of the largest companies on earth because they want to look super, super polished. This is called the Meyer Method of holding your silver correctly as I show in my book. Now, all you need at home is a fork and a knife. Now make sure they're the largest two that you have at home. First, all I want you to do, put your hands out like this and down so that your palms are facing up. Next, all you have to do is take your fork. And now it doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed, it remains the same. Take that fork, place it in your left hand. Now notice just my index finger is balancing and my palm is still open. The prongs, or as they call them in England, tines are facing upward. Very simple, right? Next, I want you to take your knife. Now, all you do in the right hand, again, palm open, fingers out, and then look at the blade. The blade of the knife is just facing up and I'm only holding it with my index finger out and my thumb to the side, just like that. So now that we are palms up, just like this, prongs up, blade up, the next is the three-step Meyer method on how to hold your silverware correctly. This I call the IWT, Index Wrap and Twist. It's super, super easy, and I talk a lot about it in my book because it's just three steps. Index out, then I want you to wrap all of your fingers, and then twist. Let's try it again. Index out, wrap your fingers, and twist. Now, freeze right there. Look at your hands. Now, your index should be your only finger out. One common mistake is that you don't want your index fingers to be up here. You don't even want them to be at the bridge of the cutlery. This is that middle part of the silverware we call it, but I want you to scoot, scoot, scoot back to about there. Note that even though my index finger is the only one that's out, I do not have McDonald's arches. I have flat index fingers like so. Next, when you're cutting, you want to cut away, not before the prongs, but away after the prongs. So when you're cutting, cut, 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 and putting the silverware in your mouth like that. And you keep your hands in this cutting position. Simple, right? The last step is just to practice. Practice at home when nobody's looking because if you're only practicing this when you're going out to a really nice meal or before that big business dinner or before that big date, going to meet the in-laws for the first time, whatever it might be, you won't look natural and it won't feel natural and you'll probably be looking down at your fingers the whole time. So I want you to practice when nobody's looking. Replay this video as many times as you need to practice that perfect IWT, index, wrap, and twist.